Hi, it's Danielle from the blog warmwithtime.com where I help you design a home full of vintage charm. And in today's video, I'll be sharing my top 10 vintage home decor items that I'm hoping to score in 2022. So I wanna go ahead and say thank you to Sarah from Our Prairie Cottage here on YouTube for inspiring me to create this video. I truly enjoyed listening to what Sarah was gonna be looking for in 2022, and I found it very interesting to see what other people are looking for. I hope that by creating this video, this inspires you while you're out thrifting and looking at antique stores and just generally shopping in 2022 with some more items to think about for your homes as well. So my husband and I have recently purchased our very first home together in 2021. And so we went from having a one bedroom house to having a three bedroom house that's pretty much bare and empty. And so we have a lot that we want to get accomplished here in our home in 2022. And part of the reason that I created this channel was to take you along that journey. And I'm gonna be doing more videos here on my channel where I actually show you our renovation process here at the farmhouse. But as far as vintage to home decor, I have a pretty long list of items that I'm hoping to find, but I narrowed it down to just the top 10 here on this video in no particular order of items that we really want to find to complete our home and hopefully we can find them this year. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have my list of items here on my phone. Um, the first home decor item that I'm looking to find in 2022 is gold mirrors. I'm looking for antique gold mirrors with lots of patina and ornate large scale gold mirrors. I want one above our mantle back here behind me. Maybe if I can't find a large one, I might do several little ones like layered. I like that look as well. And then I also need one in my master bedroom above a piece of furniture that I have in there. So gold mirrors are definitely on my list this year. Okay, so another item that I'm looking for in 2022 is a new mantle surround. So the mantle that you see here behind me is actually not something we're, we're planning on keeping forever. Generally, I'm not the type of person that likes to remove anything original if possible, but this particular mantle, I'm just not a big fan of. My husband isn't either. It has a lot of like very art deco type geometric look to it. Um, let me know in the comments. I would actually be curious to know if you guys like it, but it's just not our silence. We do have a pretty simple home, so I just feel like the mantle is a little bit more ornate than I would like. And if we could find one that's a little bit more simple with just some simple corbels on the side, I would be thrilled. Um, I don't see this happening this year in 2022. Unfortunately, I would be absolutely thrilled, but we've looked for over a year now and we just haven't found anything that meets the size requirements. And we really don't find mantles all that often, but it is definitely on my list in 2022. We will probably end up building our own mantle for this space, but if it's a project that we end up doing, I'll be sure to take you along the journey so you can see how it turns out. Okay, a next thing that I would like to find in 2022 is a craft cabinet. I'm looking for a large, shallow, like not very deep craft cabinet with lots of shelves that I can fit all of my paints, all my milk paint, all my top coats, all my oil waxes and paint brushes and my sewing machine and all my fabric. And I have a lot of like craft items that I would just like to put away in a closet and be able to access and keep organized. I'm looking for one that's pretty old and has more of a European style to it, very farmhouse, very, like I want it to be old for sure. So fingers crossed on that one. Another thing that I would like to find, find this year is a sewing desk and a French chair. I like to sew, I like to do um, a lot of different home decor projects with my sewing machine. And I currently have a sewing machine desk that I use right now but it's just a cheap one from Target. And, but we've just kind of outgrown it. The piece is starting to wobble a lot because it's cheaply made and it has a lot of spots and stuff on the top. It's not something I'm interested in painting because it's, 
um, a very slick like particle board coating on the outside so it really wouldn't hold milk paint very well so I really want to find a new sewing desk for sure and I'm so I'm looking for one that's flat on the top and has maybe a drawer or two on the sides very simple and then with my sewing desk of course I'm gonna need a chair to sew with and so I'm looking for like a French chair a French upholster chair I love redoing those and I recently had one right before we moved here into this home we got rid of it because I lived in Pennsylvania and so I really tried to down size everything that I could especially furniture I did just so that I can make the move to South Carolina a little bit smoother and my husband was really actually upset he loved that chair and which I think is so cute because it's a very feminine style chair but anyways so I do want to find a new French style chair to replace it and I know that would make him happy and I would love it because that's my style anyways. It's a little bit French country, so I think that that chair will be a great pair to match with the sewing desk that I have in mind. This is probably no surprise to anyone here on this channel, but I'm looking for some more ironstone pieces to fill up my hutch in my dining room. We actually use our ironstone for our serving where when we have guests over, we also use the platters a lot and we have ironstone plates that we use in there. But I also wanna find a couple more platters and maybe some bowls. And I also just like to decorate with ironstone. So if I could find a couple more pitchers and maybe a soup terrain, that'd be great. I love ironstone because you can actually use the pieces too. So not only are they decor, but you can actually use them and make them practical in your home. So I want to find a few more ironstone pieces this year to both use in my hutch on display, but also to actually use as serving wear when we have guests. Item number seven on my list of top 10 vintage home decor items that I'm hoping to find this year is a new bathroom door. We have a closet in our master bathroom. It's like a little linen closet and all the other doors in our home have been already replaced with original solid wood doors but the closet in our master bedroom it has a cheap old hollow core door and it's totally it's totally functional it works it closes and it opens just like any other door but it's just kind of cheapy and it's like the one door that doesn't match so if I could find one this year I would really love it um, I love our doors as one of the reasons why I wanted to buy this home is because I loved the doors. They were all original, all beautiful, all matching. I love the hardware. It seems that the, the vintage door style that we have is pretty common. It's like a two panel vintage door, but it's a little bit harder to find this particular size because I need an 18 inch door, 18 inch width door, which probably will be pretty hard to find. But I know that they make them or they used to make them because we do have a couple in our other linen closets and in our foyer closet and such. So I know that they make it. I just need to find one more and then our home will be complete with all the same matching doors. <laughs> okay, so the next home decor item that we hope to find in 2022 is a couple vintage beds. So we have two guest bedrooms here that we need to fill with a couple full size um, vintage beds. And I would love one that's like an iron antique vintage bed or maybe one that's the Jenny Lynn style with all the spindles. I think it would be gorgeous to do a raw wood finish in that. I'm dying to find one of those. If I could, that would be awesome. But we just need some vintage beds for our guest bedroom. Next item that I want to find in 2022 is wall decor. The wall decor is what makes your home unique. So I really do wanna find some wall decor this year. And my list for items for wall decor is pretty extensive because there's so, you can get so creative with what you hang on your walls. So of course I would like to find some original artwork. That would be beautiful. Um, but even just antique frames that I can hang some family photos in would be nice. Um, I also really enjoy baskets and ironstone on the wall so I'm keeping my eyes open every time I go to the thrift store and the antique shop because I'm really just hoping that I can find some wall decor to hang up and then that can really add some personality to our home so last but not least in our home in 2022 I'm really hoping to find a Berger chair as well as an ottoman 
A Berger chair is sort of like a French upholstered armchair and I'm hoping to find a Berger chair so that I can reupholster it and make it over and add it to our living room. We actually have a spot that's basically waiting for this chair to be here and it's very bare and open there and it just needs a chair. So I'm hoping that I can find one this year so that we can curl up and read a book or drink our coffee there would be wonderful. So those are the top 10 vintage home decor items that I'm hoping to find in 2022. I would really love to know in the comments below what items are you looking for this year? Where do you find your items? I usually find all of my items when I'm out shopping um, at thrift stores, of course, and antique shops, but also a lot of furniture I find on Facebook Marketplace. So if you're interested in seeing more vintage home decor and vintage furniture makeovers, or to hear more about our farmhouse fixer upper journey, I would love it if you went ahead and subscribed to my channel. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.